Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. This is the episode 3 of our series DA100 tutorial, a complete guide. In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about Power BI, its components, its building block, as well as we will go through the Power BI services. But before going that, in the last episode, we talked about the data analysis and we asked three questions to you. So first we will talk about their answers and then we will start today's session. So enough all the talking, let's get started. So in the last episode, we talked about the three questions. The very first was which data roles enables advanced analytics capabilities through reports and visualization. And its answer is data analyst because data analyst is the role who worked on the data sets, data modeling, and then the data visualization. And with the help of those, this role enables advanced analytics capabilities. The second question was, which task has a critical performance impact on reporting and data analysis? So as I also talked to you previously, that 70% of our time as a data analyst, we should work on the data modeling part. So this question answers is the option A, which is model. That means we have to work on the data modeling, which is the most critical part in data analysis. Number three was which one of the following option is a key benefit of data analysis. So I talked to you in the previous video, business intelligence is how we are going to make our business intelligent enough so that we can take the decisions which are going to help to empower the business owners or the organizations to forecast or to take critical decisions regarding their business. So over here, the answer would be B, informed business decisions. The very first question comes in our mind if we are a beginner or we are just starting with the Power BI that what is Power BI? Microsoft Power BI is a collection of software services, apps and connectors that work together to turn you unrelated sources of data into coherent, visually immersive and interactive insights. Whether your data is a simple Microsoft Excel workbook or a collection of cloud-based and on-premise hybrid data warehouses, Power BI lets you easily connect to your data sources, visualize or discover what's important and share that with anyone or everyone you want. Now let's discuss about the different parts of the Power BI. Power BI consists of a Microsoft Windows desktop application called Power BI Desktop, an online SaaS that is software as a service service called the Power BI service and a mobile Power BI app that are available on any device with native mobile app for Windows, iOS and Android. How Power BI matches your role? How you use Power BI might depend on your role on a project or a team. And the Power BI and other people in other roles might use Power BI differently, which is just fine. In Power BI, we have different roles. For example, corporate sponsor, champion, data architect, steward, Power BI admin, service delivery manager, Power BI developer, and Power BI sports who handles different roles at different time. You also might use each element of Power BI at different times, depending on what you are trying to achieve or what your role is for given. How you use Power BI can depend on which features or service of Power BI is the best tool for your situation. Now comes the Power BI installation, how we can install the Power BI. You can download Power BI desktop from the web or as an app from the Microsoft store on the Windows tab. There are two versions of the Power BI desktop is available. One is for 64 bit, another is for 32 bit. So you can download according to your system requirements. And once you download this Power BI app, you have to just uh, follow the simple steps for the installation like any other software and then you are good to go. Flow of work in Power BI. The very first is just to create a report in Power BI desktop. After that, we have to publish the same report in Power BI service. Thirdly, we can create dashboards and Power Apps in Power BI services and then we can share with the required audience. 
A common flaw of work in Power BI begins in Power BI Desktop, where a report is created. The report is then published to the Power BI service and finally shared so that users of the of Power BI mobile apps can consume the information. Now let's discuss the building blocks of Power BI. The very first is the visualization. A visualization, sometimes also referred to as a visual, is a visual representation of the data, like we have the different visualizations in Power BI, line chart, color coded map, or tree map, other interesting things that you create to represent your data visually. Power BI has all sorts of visualizations types and more are coming all the time. According to an estimate, Power BI has approximately 34 inbuilt and more than 300 are the custom visualizations available on the store. The second one is the datasets. A dataset is a collection of data that Power BI uses to create its visualization for your report creation. Datasets can also be a combination of many different sources which you can filter and combine to provide a unique collection of data for use in Power BI. For example, you can create datasets from a three uh, database fields, one website table, an Excel table, and online results of an email marketing campaign. That unique combination is still considered a single dataset, even though it was pulled together from the different sources and it's known as composite dataset. So you can just consider a dataset is nothing but a set of data that are required to create that particular report or dashboard. Third one is the reports and dashboard. So with the help of data set and visualizations, we create our reports in Power BI desktop application, and then we publish that report into Power BI services. So in Power BI service, we can create a dashboard from the multiple reports or a single report. And also in Power BI, a tile is a single visualization on a report or dashboard. It is the rectangular box that holds an individual visual in the image shown you can see a tile which is also surrounded by other tiles. Now let's consider the flow of activities in Power BI. So what can be the different flow of activities in Power BI? The very first comes the bring the data into Power BI desktop and create a report. So we have this Power BI desktop free application. There are no charges for that. Though there are different kinds of licenses, but not for this one. Those are for Power BI services when it comes to share your report with your other colleagues. But Power BI Desktop application is a completely free app. You can create report, you can publish for yourself and you can learn and you can use all the features for 60 days with a free trial of 60 days as a Power BI Pro license as well. Once you sign up with your work or school email address. The second one is publish to the Power BI service for creating dashboards. So once we create our report in the Power BI Desktop application, we can publish it on the Power BI service after signing in into the Power BI service through our desktop application and then it can be published over there. The third one is to share dashboard with others. So now our reports has been created. So other users, if we have Power BI Pro license or Power BI Premium license, we can share our reports and dashboard to others. And once it's being shared, then the other users with whom we have shared it can view and interact with shared dashboard and reports in Power BI mobile apps or they can use uh, their computer or their laptop or desktop, any medium. Now let's take a tool and use the Power BI service. So this is my browser and over here, first of all, I have to just log in powerbi.com. Once I log in, you will see this interface where you have to sign with your email address and password. And if you haven't cre created your account, you have to create your account over here with your official email address or work or school email address. Now I have to enter my password over here. So guys, once you will sign in, you will see similar to this page. The very first you will see getting started with Power BI where you will get some of the documentation and videos which would help you to learn Power BI. Then at the bottom you will see recent shared with me and mobile apps and then your workspaces so if you have any workspaces you will get it over here so this would be your home page on the top left hand side you will see this button where you will see the different applications based on your subscription then you have power bi you can click on this and you will always come back to your home then your home button as well 
Now the second one is the favorite tab. So whenever we worked on any reports or the dashboards or data set, we can make them as our favorite, which I'll show you. And then you can use it over there. Recent tab will show your recent activities or the reports or the apps. In the apps, you will find over here that you can get the apps from the other organizations as well who publish their apps. So basically what happens, a Power BI report, when we publish that into a workspace, we will get an option to create an app. So that app simply means that it's a combination of different reports or the dashboards which are published in the one workspace. And then we can share the app link to the users so that they don't need to get access individually on each and every app and they can use it. For example, over here, if I'll click on this and I can get any of these apps. So Microsoft has uh, apps with the organization as well as the templates app which are published by other organizations. So it's pretty simple to get it. For example, I'll just take this app from the Microsoft. It would load itself and then you have to just click get it now. Once you click on it, it will say, okay, uh, I'm not a pro, but do you want to get a pro license for 60 days? If I want to, I can get it. In the pro license, I'll get full fledged features for 60 days and then depends on my requirement, I can buy that. So right now I'll say no. I said no, so that's why this app won't come, but you need to have a pro license to get the apps from the other organizations. And also over here, you should note that your organization apps would display over here. So it's been divided into the template apps as well as your organization apps. Now shared with me, so suppose any of your, your other clicks shared some reports with you, all those reports are gonna appear over here. In the learning section, you can get again the documentation videos provided by the Microsoft and you can learn those things. Workspaces. Workspaces are nothing but these are the containers where we are going to publish our reports. So you can create as many as workspace you want. But every workspace limit is for Power BI Pro license is 10 GB. So you cannot have the contents more than 10 GB in one workspace. And this is the My Workspace. So by default, you have your own My Workspace. Because you have a Power BI free license only, then you can only publish your reports into this workspace and you won't be able to share with others but if you want to share with others you have to publish your reports and dashboards over here in the created workspace get data tab would help you at the bottom to get the data from the different sources and you can directly pull the data or even the excel sheets and start creating the reports and dashboards over here itself in power bi service also we can create the reports but they are uh, some of the features which are available in Power BI desktop only which are not over here. One of the features is the measures so you cannot create the measures in Power BI service but you can create on Power BI desktop. So now we'll talk about on the right hand side top corner first you get this search bar over here you can search any report dashboard or workspaces then you have your notifications where you will see all the notifications regarding report dashboards or apps over here. Then you have settings. In the settings, you will find the different options, where to go, what to do. For example, if I'll talk about the settings, you will click over here, then you will go on your admin settings. For that, I'll make another video at the last of this tutorial, which is very important, the admin part. For example, you want to manage personal storage, you will get over here, like you can see over here, I'm using 0 MB of 10 GB. There are a couple of other options as well, which you can use later. Even you can manage the gateways. So gateways are basically whenever we are connecting with the on-premise data and we need to schedule refresh through Power BI services, then we use the Power BI gateways. And content pack is nothing but these are the apps created by the other creators or your organization one. This tab over here provides you the different downloading options. So these are the different tools. Even whenever Power BI desktop comes with a new set of features every month. So you can download it from here. And then you have the data gateway, paginated report builder and sort of other things. So whichever tool you want to use, you can come over here. Then this question mark is the help and support from the Power BI. So you get a Power BI dedicated community where you can post your question and answers and you can ask them, you can learn documents, privacy policies about Power BI, you will get everything over here. Now this smiley option is for feedback. You can even submit an idea, submit an issue in the Power BI service or Power BI desktop and you will go through that. 
Lastly, I have my BI Consulting Pro account. You can see my email address over here. This was a quick tour of Power BI services where you will get the different functionalities, what to do, what, how to do. Whenever you publish report in a particular workspace, it would show over here and you can see your reports or even in your My Workspace if you are going to publish for yourself only. Now we just had a tour of the Power BI services. So let's move further. The end part of this video is the question. So as I asked you in the previous video or the tutorial in data analysis, three different questions. So today also we have three different questions for you. The very first question is, what is the common flow of activity in Power BI? We discussed how the Power BI flow happens in Power BI services like to create the report then we publish into Power BI services and then create dashboards and app and then share so you have to analyze yourself you have to think over it and if you didn't understand please go through this video once more and answer this question second one is which of the following are the building blocks of Power BI which we already discussed in this video so you have to tell what are the different building blocks of Power BI and the last one is a collection of ready-made visuals pre-arranged in dashboards and reports is called what in power bi so guys please stay tuned for more videos if you have any comments or feedback please let us know through the comments and also find the different links available regarding power bi installations video or what is power bi service in a more briefly manner i have already created those videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates